Today, I'm going to take a look at clothing on the Camino. I'm going to show you uh, my selection, and I hope it helps you decide what to bring uh, when it comes time for your journey. So, sit back and enjoy. These are the shirts I wore whilst uh, trekking on the Camino. They're what we call sun shirts. They're very common in Australia. Again, I've got duplicate of these because you need two items, two clothing items of each. You can see there, long sleeve, collar, protects your neck, protects your arms. This is SunSmart UV 50 plus microfiber. It doesn't get hot like everyone thinks. You're actually, your body temperature is very cool in these because it breathes and the air can, can enter. But crucially, you don't get burnt. There's no point in getting roasted by the sun. For any hiking, I like wearing um, a, a, an option like this. This, uh, these are long pants. And they are my favorite thing for hiking on the Camino. You've got a lot of uh, relatively flat or gradual inclines. In my opinion, you don't need short pants for that. Um, the benefit of these is they're like a shield on your leg. So the dust doesn't get all over you, the mud doesn't get on your body, and most importantly, your legs don't get sunburned. Contrary to what people think, you don't get hot in these because they're lightweight, they weigh nothing. I don't believe it makes any difference to your body temperature. I think it does make a difference when you get sunburn every day. I saw so many people with dark red skin, it was unnecessary. This is your opening like any pants. However, inside here, you can see there's lacing. And when you put these on, obviously you have some support already from the elastic, but you tie that up tight and um, that prevents your pack from pulling your pants down when you're walking. So I found that really cool. It was an excellent item and Every day I walked on the Camino, I wore long pants, and there was no problem with it. And so many people criticised me for it, but I don't regret it one bit. Here are the long pants I wore on the Camino pilgrimage. What I did for storing them, because they're so light and, uh, and made to use in hot, bright, sunny conditions, they're a lightweight item and you just there you go this is my casual pants that I took on the Camino I took two pairs all they are there to do is provide you with something to wear when you're not trekking so after you've checked into the albergue and had your shower you put these on you can walk around the townships and uh, you can sleep in them. They're just football pants, very comfortable, small, light, they don't crease. These, these were again used in situations when I wasn't trekking. So after you've checked in, when you buy a coffee and a beer or whatever, this is what you wear. And again, they're a tough wearing item they don't crease and they're lightweight and they're the qualities you want uh, in your clothing on the Camino. Here is my thermal undergarment. It's a merino base layer and that is very important in my opinion um, especially for the early stages of the Camino where you're in the Pyrenees and you need to preserve your body warmth. Um, this item is quite expensive but I would recommend getting it um, it doesn't soak up all the stench 
like other clothing items tend to do. It rolls up to a small little unit that you can pack away easily. Um, and I found it useful on uh, mornings where it actually dropped down significantly. Uh, the temperature went down under 5 degrees Celsius a few times in the middle of the Camino. I was very surprised by that. And I hadn't used this since uh, Ronces Valleys was the last place I used it. Um, all of a sudden I had it out again. Everyone else was cold, but I had that. So you put that as your base layer. There are three layers. So here, your merino base layer, your sun shirt, your raincoat. And that system allowed me to walk um, during times it was overcast, bitterly cold, strong winds, but it was practical too. It didn't impede my bag at all and it locked in that warmth and it kept me dry too. So have a similar system where you have items that are light and they pack down easily but are also practical. A lot of people had uh, expensive coats which were a burden to pack and wear with your pack whereas this is a very simple item but it was ideal. So give it some consideration uh, when you're preparing your clothing. That's the end of this segment on clothing. In the next part, I'm going to take a look at your wet weather gear, which is another important thing to consider for the Camino. So, thanks again, and I'll see you in the next part. Buen Camino!